Hey Kings, you are once again welcome. Today we are going to learn motion tracking in After Effects. But if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, so that you can get access to all my new posts. And then also, your like and comments makes my videos go viral, so don't forget to leave your comments down below, and then like the video as well. Okay, now let's jump into After Effects. What I'm having here on my program monitor is the Liberty Statue. And I want to label it like this. Under normal circumstance. What you've got to do is to animate the shapes and the text by adding keyframes. And with this, you have to animate it frame by frame before it can match up with the video. And that is a great headache, especially when you are working on longer videos. But the amazing thing is, After Effects has made it more easier with their motion tracker tool. So what we have to do is to create a null object. And you can do that by right clicking on an empty space. Go to new, and then null object. Select your clip, and then open the tracker panel. If you cannot find the tracker panel, go to windows, and make sure tracker is checked. Okay, now back to the tracker panel. Select track motion. And of course I know there are more tracking options, so if you want me to do a tutorial on any of them, you can leave it in the comments down below. Okay, so after selecting the motion tracking, you will see this point at the middle of your clip. You can open it up, and then place it at the point where you want to track. And after that, just click on the Analyze Forward button, and After Effects will start the tracking. This might take some time, depending on your clip. And after the tracking is done, you are going to see these points on your clip. Now, just open Edit Target, and then make sure that the motion is applying to the null objects that you created. Now click OK, and then Apply. Good. Now, we are done with the tracking. So we are moving to the shapes and text. And this involves some motion graphic techniques, so make sure you follow properly. First we are going to draw a circle around the fire. So make sure that no layer is selected on your timeline. And then pick the ellipse tool and draw the circle. Great. We are not going to fill the circle with color, we are going to use stroke. And if necessary, adjust the stroke setting until you get what you want. And you can adjust the size too as well. Good. Now we are going to draw the line. So make sure the shape layer is selected, and then select the pen tool. Draw the line by just creating two points. And of course you can adjust the stroke settings. And if necessary, adjust the length, and then reposition it. Good. You can now pick the text tool and type anything that you want to. Great. You can now reposition it, if necessary. Good. We are not done yet. We are now going to animate the text and shapes. But before we do that, if you are new to my channel, Make sure to hit the subscribe button, because every week I share tips and tutorials on Premiere Pro and After Effects. And I know you want to learn more, so make sure to hit the notification bell, and get notified anytime I post a new video. Okay, now let's continue. Open up the shape layer and then select the ellipse. Click on the add button, and then add trim paths. Add a keyframe to end, and then change the value to 0%. Move a bit forward on your timeline, and then change the value back to 100%. Good. And then we are going to do the same thing to the shape, which is the line. Add a keyframe to end at 0%. Move forward a bit and then change the value back to 100%. Good. Now, exactly at the last keyframe, select the text layer, and then split it. You can do that by going to edit, and then split layer. Now you can delete the first one. And after that, just add the typewriter effect to it. Good. Now select both the shape and the text layer, and then pre-compose them. Make sure they are positioned well. And then finally, link the pre-compose to the null object. And that's it. We can now have a playback. And that's it for today. I hope you learned something new. And thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, for more and amazing tutorials. And also, you can leave your questions and comments down below. I always appreciate comments. Jesus loves you. See you next week.